Sorry. I, I, I think that uh that four digits it's 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 a no brainer. Wow. It's really a no brainer, especially with the supply and stuff that could happen drastically. Right. And the people having a place to put their drip. Oh man. With, with the, when the lending happens, I mean, good lord, uh, yeah. that could really yeah. be like, like even even the scratchies is yeah. is is game changer. I'm talking about a white label service that's gonna provide, you know, help towards drip and pick and all that. It's it's. I didn't think it was gonna go this way, especially when I bought, you know, yeah, <laughs> back when when Forex started. I didn't back then. It was just a reflection token. Right. It was just uh, you know, hold this and you get more just by holding as people buy and sell. Right. And and I at that time I was like, oh man, this is the best thing coming. And and to realize that, you know, a couple years later and stuff like that, and now we have all this to look forward to. What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We have got a guest in the building. You've probably been seeing him on some other channels and uh, talking about this new project that he's that he's uh, launching, which starts tomorrow. So give it up for, for DeFi Proof. You know, it, it's funny. I, I want to say DJ Proof. I don't know why I keep like every time. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a dope name. Now, something that um uh, I was thinking about, you know, I, I, I remember watching one of your videos that you did and where you filmed it like i'm looking at the background and i'm like yo like that could be like my neighborhood where i grew up like i i grew up we lived on the third floor of one of the triple deckers absolutely and so those were all in the video i'm like yo is he and uh and so <laughs> when when i got when we exchanged numbers and i called i was like i knew you were from massachusetts so for those of you that don't know i don't know if i've mentioned it on my channel i grew up on the northeast i grew up in cambridge mass and a lot of times people hear, you know, Boston, they think like Larry Bird and the Celtics, right? Or mm -hmm. they hear Cambridge, they think Harvard and MIT. But when you live there, that's like such a small little part of mm -hmm. it. And people don't realize the surrounding areas, like you, you're from Lawrence and that's where you were shooting that video. Well, I know a little bit about Lawrence. <laughs> it ain't, <laughs> it's a rough area, man. Like you got, oh, you got Lynn city of sin right next to you. You got Lowell. Yeah. I mean, like that's absolutely now you don't, I, uh, live, you don't live there anymore. No, no. Uh, DeFi actually moved me out of that, you know, situation. So I'm currently living somewhere where it's nice, quiet, and <laughs> you know, no sirens, no shots, nothing. <laughs> so you 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 were able you were able to to basically change. I mean, change your whole environment from DeFi. Absolutely, just De DeFi alone. Yep. And and you've been part of Forex Forex's uh, um, projects since like the beginning. Absolutely. I literally, um, I got in right when he launched his first project and I've been here ever since I've been here for a while. You've seen all the ups and downs and, and, and everything. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, sometimes I, I kind of laugh with myself when, uh, you know, I hear flutters and stuff of drip and, and it's going down, but I mean, you know, it happened already a couple of times, you know, it goes up, stuff goes up, stuff, stuff goes down. But um, it, I've been through it already like three times. Right. So I know what happens. You know what I'm saying? So, I, 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 I forget who it was that was saying it, but I guess because about a year ago around this time, it was going down and, and and he was dealing with the same stuff. Like people that were in it like that, you yeah. know, they say this is very familiar. Like we've been through this so many times. Yeah, I mean, and what's crazy is that you you know, you have a dev that only comes around probably once in a while. You have all these devs in DeFi and, and they create projects and it's just one project and don't build after that. Once you have a dev that keeps building and keeps building and keeps building, I mean, you know, we went from a couple dollars to 30 bucks and then back down to like, you know, seven, six bucks. Yeah. But guess what happened? We have a dev that keeps dev. Yeah. And that's the difference. Yeah. Yeah. And back in the day, you, you guys were in like a small little telegram group where it was like Stunna and Ray mm. and Forex and, and, yeah. and you were part of all of that. Absolutely. It was all of us. It was a, 
uh, Thomas G, yeah. Ray, a um, whole bunch of people um, that we probably, you know, you, you don't see a lot of them today. You know, bear market, you know, takes a lot of these people away. But the strong ones survive and the, the strong ones that stayed, they all, you know, made their YouTube channels, have their own communities. Right. But we all stick together. And that's yeah. the important part. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, that's awesome, man. Like, that's that's super cool. Um, just especially when we first talked and just hearing a little bit about you and, and, and stuff like that, because we all we all hear you every single day. Like a lot of people <laughs> listen, a lot of people that watch my channel and then myself included, like every single day, Stunner Breezy is like first thing in the morning. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? I always check out something Thomas G is doing. You know, Ray, of course, we all like we all tune into this every single day. We hear your voice absolutely you're, you know, you're you're cool. like part of the soundtrack to our our life right now <laughs> and it's and it's you know same thing i've been giving to the community from the very beginning and you know it's not going to stop now it's actually getting bigger and bigger and like i said before i think it's actually becoming a part of me of just giving and just keep giving you know so yeah well that's awesome Ted. so so speaking of that let's get into what the project is absolutely so uh, basically, one percent NFT is gonna is a project. Well, let me pull up uh, the website right here. It's a project where um, you know the the drawings have been been drawn for a while. We're trying to find the perfect way to just raise some capital and then give it back to the community without being you know dumped, which is which is hard because it. it it like takes off the effects of you know feeling that oh man i got something and then you dump it and now you're basically dumping on everybody's head right so by us being lucky and having a faucet we could actually take those funds that, that, that we bought airdrop it to communities but airdrop it directly to faucets so we take away that dumping effect right absolutely right so do you have the do you have your screen you could share up of uh what this nft project will will kind of look like Absolutely. So um, here is the website and we do have a mint button up here and it's going to be working as soon as everything is live at 6 p.m. Tuesday. It's okay. going to be working. It's going to be a little bigger than this and you're going to be able to just hit this um, so you you know you don't hit no other links or any contracts. You just come right here and you'll yep. be all set. And is it point, what is it, point 0.8 BNB for yeah. the, okay. And tell, tell tell a little bit about, I mean, a lot of people have started to see the, uh, you know, the NFTs and the pictures and stuff like that. Like, so when someone gets the NFT, what what happens? Like the 0.8 BNB that mm -hmm. goes in, tell me, kind of tell me the, the process of like what happens. If we follow the money real quick, what does that look like? Absolutely. So there's actually six steps here. Okay. Um, and, and, you know, I'll go over these six steps and then let you know exactly what's going to happen after. So... With step one, guys, there's going to be basically communities are going to compete in order to win top three most mints. So if you have a team, let's say like, uh, you know, Thomas G and R2R, let's say um, they have a squad, they mint and try to be the, the most mentors to become top three. Those top three teams are going to basically get the airdrop. Now there's going to be a fourth team and that fourth team is going to go for anybody who mints a zombie. There's only like a hundred zombies out there, probably 1% of the supply, mm -hmm. but whoever mints these zombies is going to automatically get in this fourth group and get an air jump as well, which is pretty cool. Oh, that's cool. So that's, that's step number one. Uh, step number two, 50% of all the buys, 50% of all those buys are going to go directly into spot buying drip, whether it's, eight dollars whether it's ten dollars 12 20 whatever it is at that time we're gonna spot by drip and then step three there's gonna be a huge price jump which is gonna create you know a massive wave of buys which also creates FOMO and that's something that we need right before um forex launches the animal farm right before scratch goes live and you know Probably even ahead, you know, talking about um, lending and stuff like that. So um, very, very cool. Step number four is the top three communities that win the most mint will receive airdrops. So right after we make those buys, um, we're going to, you know, send the funds to the community leaders and the community leaders are going to send it right to the faucets, which um, makes sense. 
after that number five guys 10 percent, an additional 10 percent of the mint is gonna go basically to community leaders as you know if they're here or not whether if they're here with us or not and the community decides that you know this person here is not part of it but he deserves to be part of it you know we're gonna include him as well so um pretty good there 10 percent of that is gonna go for them um you know including yourself so you well, should make i, I <laughs> I should make sure to leave you with my wallet address. Absolutely. That's what I heard. Absolutely. I mean, when you were yeah. saying that, that's what I was mm -hmm. thinking and that's what mm -hmm. I heard. So I will absolutely do that. Yeah. So um, <laughs> that's that's perfect. So including yourself, you would get a piece of that 10%. Just as all of us in the community are saying, thank you, you know, for helping us, you know, at least try to reach our way to financial freedom. So thank you for all, you know, everybody making videos, teaching everybody about reservoirs and, and stuff like that. For sure. For Number sure. six is one that I think is my favorite because I don't think a lot of people um, know the importance of this. And I'm, I'm going to get to that in a little bit. But royalties will go directly. All royalties are going to go directly to the reservoir. And that's going to provide the price support. And it's actually going to keep raising the floor price. But additionally, just, you know, supporting everybody and anything that goes in there. So continue support. And that's what number six is. And, and what the royalties are coming from which? So royalties, um, with NFTs, it works a little different. So in the marketplace, when you buy and sell, um, there's a 10%, 5% or 3%, whatever you make it. And that goes, that's basically like towards artists or, or contract developers. That's basically them getting paid. Right. Instead of, you know, them getting paid, what we're going to do is take that and just, you know, send it to a wallet, which is going to you know, automatically um, keep sending it to that to that reservoir. Okay, so that those royalties you're talking about every t every new mint um, in the marketplace. So if you okay. mint, okay. you're 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 golden. Now, if you buy and sell and trade, there's you know there's a little tax that goes to it, and that's when you you experience that. Gotcha. And um, I'm curious, um, play like kind of like devil's advocate here. So mm -hmm. what? uh what do i do with the nft once i've bought it i mean what is it a collectible type thing or is there something a little bit more where it will yeah. become more valuable on the marketplace what's what's the absolutely reason? all right so uh i i love this question because um the community themselves created this um and it's utilities a lot of communities are making their own utilities if you're a holder also, every holder is going to get the jacket they receive. For example, if you mint a phantom jacket and you hold that phantom jacket, so, you know, we, we release the Google form, then, you know, you would get that phantom jacket. If you have, let's say three NFTs and you have a phantom jacket, a hex jacket and a drip jacket, you know, for you holding that, you get all three of those jackets. So there's going to be basically 10,000 jackets that are going to go out automatically. Wow. So I'm think I'm looking like, all right, so 50%, you know, goes to spot drying, spot buying drip. Okay. Then we got the 10%. The, yep. I mean, the jackets have got to take up a good percentage in terms of costs. Well, yeah. So on top of that, the top one community, uh, whether whoever it is, that's just, for example, let's say Bartitown, let's say his community wins number one. So his whole community is also going to receive a uh, dripped out merch from socks to hat meaning pants, shirt, jacket, everything. So not, you know, they don't have to be part of Drip. They just have to be part of that community and you'll receive that. So that that's another incentive. Um, but, you know, we have the artist cost as well, sure. uh, which there are multiple artists. And then we have the developer cost. But um, we're really trying to make an onboarding um, in the real world with Drip. So. We, you know, the clothes that we have that we're, we're making with the young boys, and, and I said this before, but those young boys, when you get to see them, they, they are hungry. <laughs> so when we reveal that, you know, they're hungry as hell. And um, they're making a lot of noise of what they're doing, which is pretty cool. But, you know, we have quality and we're bringing that real life. So every piece of clothes that um, you're going to see with this new drip onboarding that we're doing is going to have a QR code. And that QR code is going to lead the people directly to drip which is which is very important very cool and uh, but help me understand um the part about once i have the nft and maybe let's say i've received the jacket yep 
putting it on the marketplace and like uh, is it going to be where is it where, where is it likely to like is uh like where is it yeah 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 is it open so the no no the marketplace that we are using we're, we're using bnb they don't have um okay a bnb um compatible yet but right. we're going to be using nf trade and they're pretty good over there okay um it's going to be nice and easy but um so you got to think about it like this um the nfts right now they're going to basically be the genesis nft the first ones that mint. um now these are going to have uh for example there's there's uh, i think it's drip coach he's going to be doing something with uh with uh, business and if you you know you own this type of nft over here then you're going to be getting 30 minutes of business with him which is fire um you know we have another member which is going to do fitness and whoever um you know owns this nft we, you know we're going to get some web3 fitness plan going right um the ladies of the faucet they have their own utility so it, it's it's a beautiful thing when um when you have a community and you know they're they're um you know utilities coming from left to right because if right. you look at other nfts if you don't have a real community there's there's only limited things you could do and you know they die they out die out after for example right so um one thing that we spoke about too um with the team is you know trying to get um every holiday for example um halloween and christmas and stuff like that and airdrop you know like um, things for your character to put on you know, the christmas hats with the christmas right. stuff on you know so we're, we're thinking long term. We're not yeah. doing the quick thing and we're just going to keep building towards it. Right. And so, I mean, utility for it can be added, you know what I mean, mm -hmm. along the way, you know, and I mean, you and I have even talked. I said, you know, mm -hmm. um, if I ever become an NFT, because I'm not in the collection, <laughs> folks, I just still, I'm sorry to let you down. But <laughs> I, I talked about, you know, something where a certain amount uh, of holders of it get, at, you know, I, I do a 30 minute one-on-one, -on -one, you know, coaching session about, you know, money and money mindset and something like that. Like, um, <laughs> Absolutely. and these are things that can kind of be added uh, as, as we go and, and they can grow value. All of these can start growing value, especially since they were the first. Absolutely. Um, the thing is that, you know, who, who knows, maybe the 2023 class is going to bring in some, <laughs> right. <laughs> right. But it, it's value. I mean, there's, you, you gotta understand not everybody's gonna have a drip jacket and everybody's probably gonna want a drip jacket not mm -hmm. everybody's gonna have a uh you know a art war jacket and they're an art war and they're probably gonna want so it's it's gonna get pretty interesting like for example me i have uh a connection with phantom uh because you know i started that blockchain when it was in the ground so i'm looking to buy a phantom jacket you know, you know how it works. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's like that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I can see the the original NFT holders. You know, it becomes almost. I mean, who knows? Like a, its own little DAO. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. um, unbelievable. Super cool. Can you show just a couple pictures of of the ones you've? I know some people have seen it, but I, I would just uh, absolutely what the NFTs are going to look like. Yeah. Uh, let me. Uh getting it real quick so uh let me share that so uh this is actually one Woo! of stunner breezy and he got the bitcoin jacket going on with the with the shoes the chain fire that is that. here he got the avax with it and some red sneakers going on there which is fire uh, we have a floki jacket for people who, you know, got that <laughs> 500X. <laughs> <laughs> we have a Cardano jacket. Wow. We have, you know, Doge. For the people who are in Doge Sheen right now. You know, we got the Ethereum with the Ethereum 4s going on. You see? Nice. <laughs> but there's, there's a lot more. Yo, if, just... if, if you make one with me, can, I, can you have me in a pair of Jordan 3s? Well, here's the thing. Um, <laughs> me looking for the future, like let's say you do get into the next collection if we, you know, pump drip again. Um, there's gonna, there's just so much ideas coming in, but for, I think for the next one we're gonna have like some serious, serious one for one collectibles that only like 
your character would have and right. you know what I'm saying so it's it's going to get fun after this I love it I love it now let me here let me play throw another question at you just sort of playing mm -hmm. devil's advocate you know mm -hmm. and I've I've been you know I talked to you know some of the other YouTubers and and uh you know when I, we think about price action right now and looking at drip you know we all agree obviously it's not it, the animal farm you know is needed right and mm -hmm. the marketing of new people coming in is is going to be amazing to see um, mm -hmm. to see that influx but the current people that are in the majority of us i would say if i speak for people is is like we have put all our risk like we don't have any we're cash poor basically right <laughs> you know what i mean like we have just like gone at it you know as the price is going down and so there's just not a lot of dry powder on the sidelines for I'm, are you have you taken that into consideration or do you think you know what it's probably i don't know i'm just curious what you think of that um i i still think um we're, we're destined to go for a, a huge run um now, but even with the, I'm saying the launch of the NFTs, I oh, yeah. agree. I think we're, we're the next couple months are going to be, mm -hmm. are going to be something, but do you have any, um, it, cause they're going to be launching tomorrow. There's definitely going to be excitement. Cause right after, right before, I think we're going to hear about the animal farm, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. actual launch date. Um, but it, it, it is kind of the current community right now. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people would say, I just don't have, I don't have the you know the extra cash on the sidelines yeah um it, it's it's like that every day out here whether it's yeah. you know whether it's drip or not there's certain projects that i i, I wanted and i was biting my friend that, oh, i want to get in there but you know i i, I just can't you right. know what i'm saying right. so there's there's things like that that we do with every day if if by any chance you can't get in or you need a compound and stuff like that go right ahead compound you know, mm -hmm. don't you know? Don't go crazy. There's going to be plenty of opportunities. Probably in the aftermarket, you probably might swipe them on the floor or something, or how, how that plays out. But you know, this is as a as a community as one. Um, I think that personally, you know, you, it, it's not a it's not a must. It's not an absolute must. You could still go buy drip and stuff like that. But this is as a community as one. We're trying to make that mega buy. So if you want to be part of it, great. Right. If you can't. You know, there's always gonna probably next time or. How long is mint? How how many days uh, is it gonna be uh, for minting? So mint goes out till there's 10k. After the 10k collection is over, okay. Then it, um, you could only get it in market marketplace. Mm -hmm. If you had to predict how long it will take to get to 10k, just curious. What do you think? Ooh. Mm. That would be a mega drip buy. I'll tell you that. <laughs> but if I could, if I could predict, um. You know, I'm not gonna go crazy. Probably three, four days. Okay. Or, or probably before it reveals, because um, there is a, a reveal time. Right. So there yeah. Is so floor. folks, when you, in case some of you haven't done NFTs before, when you mint, you're you're not gonna see which one you got, right? Yeah, you're not gonna see. You're gonna probably see, um, you know, some drops or something. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. But um. Okay. Do they when people mint though they do select which which person they want to have? No, right? it's completely random. So completely you can get random. a okay. common one or you could get a rare one. Right. It, it'll be completely up to destiny. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. <laughs> uh, when when is the reveal day? So the reveal day is going to be forty eight hours after mint. Gotcha. Okay. Which is going to kind of build even more excitement. Like, oh man, what, what do I got? You know what I'm saying? So that's pretty pretty. <laughs> Nice. And, and which, which is there a telegram, uh, whether it's, I'm assuming the drip telegram, if people have questions, uh, you know, during the launch, uh, where would be the best place for them to, to ask? There would be a couple places. There's one is, um, 1% NFT. That's the, um, telegram. Okay. Um, we are also opening up a discord, which is going to be 1% NFT as well soon. Um, this week. And you could go to the sauce chat, okay. which is uh, my personal chat. You guys could go right in there, ask whatever you want. But this is a uh, completely transparent um, and completely um, invisible. You guys could go check out the contracts, check out everything, right. uh, make sure everything's on point. Yeah. Okay, so um, I'll leave a link to these uh, down below. You just send it to me when we're done 
done recording and I'll, I'll add it in the description so everyone has it absolutely um, this is exciting man it's so cool to see you know what i mean people in the community just saying like how can we you know support drip and 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 how can we create our own utility you know what i mean like not just wait for the dev to do it like we can do it ourselves because yeah. this has been i mean talk about a resilient community mm -hmm. you know what i mean like holy smokes like what we've been through i think just even over the last you know several months yeah and the attacks and the flood and the you know <laughs> you know what i mean and the price Absolutely. just going down and bitcoin falling and you know but everyone has just been like no 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 we're we're we're, we're gonna be okay and if we all stick together it, it's it's gonna be quite a ride yeah now uh, what's what's what gets me kind of warm inside and stuff and you know it's it, it's the change for example um you know I, I introduced a lot of my friends to drip um you know probably when price was like 150 160. yeah 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 <laughs> and i and i decided to make you know a faucet with them i'm like hey you know what i'm gonna grow with you guys and you know you're gonna see the growth as me compounding so they've been compounding for months having having uh claimed that all and um now you see a lot of them just leaving the streets and you know going full-time DeFi, which is just amazing to see crazy bro. All right. Yeah. And, and just, just just for the people, because um, you said something that that. All right. So let's go ahead and just consider you a whale. All right. <laughs> a whale in drip. All right. When you were getting your friends in at 150, 160. I mean, it was because you believe, like the rest of us, that we were going to be breaking into 250 and then possibly 500. I mean, everyone, it's not like, because a lot of times people will say, oh, the whales were promoting it when it yeah. was 150, 160, just to provide, just to get exit liquidity, right? Yeah. And not to say that you should, I mean, obviously people sell when it's up there, mm -hmm. but everyone also was thinking it was going to keep going. We didn't know the whole market was just going to fall off yeah. a cliff, right? Absolutely, and um, you know the animal farm had, had something to do with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, exactly. um, but it, if if it just kept going and you know it worked how it was supposed to, I mean, it it, it could have easily probably touched some some numbers. But like I said, the, I I've been through it before, and I know exactly what happens when some um, you know something comes out and it's working and stuff like that. So, I, I still have the same goals right. as if it was one fifty. 160, 140. I still have the same goals, and even at these levels, it's still paying that one percent. <laughs> yeah, yeah. By the way, folks, I don't know if you picked up on that, but he was he was tempted to say that it, that drip could could hit four digits. He didn't want to say it because he didn't want to sound crazy. But, but if you rewind, watch. He was almost there, but then he was like, "Nah, I don't want to sound you know crazy." And that's uh that that's not that's not even fud or anything. Or I I, I think that uh. That four digits, it's 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 a no brainer. Wow. It's really a no brainer, especially with the supply and stuff that could happen drastically. Right. And the people having a place to put their drip. Oh man. With, with the, when the lending happens, I mean, good lord, uh, yeah. that could really yeah. be like, like even even the scratches is yeah. is is game changer. I'm talking about a white label service that's gonna provide, you know, help towards drip and pig and all that it's it's i didn't think it was gonna go this way especially when i bought you know yeah <laughs> back when when forex started i didn't back then it was just a reflection tool right it was just uh you know hold this and you get more just by holding as people buy and sell right and, and I, at that time i was like oh man this is the best thing coming and and to realize that you know a couple years later and stuff like that and now we have all this to look forward to it's it's just amazing that's so cool man well listen thank you so much uh you know what i mean for jumping on and and, and I, I i for the community like let's this is exciting you know i definitely am going to be a buyer tomorrow um and uh just appreciate like all you've done like again we listen to you every single yeah. day you, you know we you know, <laughs> it, and, it's uh, surreal. It's, it, surreal. It, it's, it's pretty cool to just get a, you know get to have a conversation with you and and kind of hear a little bit about your story too like uh you know and it's 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 inspiring to see you doing this too you know what i mean yeah and don't think um otherwise I, i'm i'm a huge fan myself so it's it's uh, like it's kind of crazy that me being here and talking to you when i 
I used to just, oh man, let me see. Oh. And then now I'm just <laughs> <laughs> Well, cool deal, man. Um, all right, folks. So tomorrow, 6 p.m. Eastern time. Eastern time, yep. Eastern time. And I'll have the link down below because you're gonna send me all right. The link will be down below. It'll take you to where you just can go ahead and hit that mint button. Mm -hmm. And uh yeah. Uh, the telegrams will be there as well. So if questions come up during the process, cause you know how sometimes, you know, launch something and a button doesn't work and they gotta, it's, yeah. you know, anyway, you'll, you'll be able to ask questions when you're, when you're, when you're doing it, um, in the different telegrams that we'll provide. So. Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. And uh, stay tuned. I think we're going to probably have a, a, after launch party and, and talk about how it went and how it's, you know, how it's going to go for the future, but we're going to keep building after this guys. So. And, and in that after party, uh, telegram, whatever it is, make sure you say it was great, but we need to have beach office in there. <laughs> like it felt like something was missing, like without beach, it was great, but it could have been like, Hey man, so. <laughs> hey, I'm going to tell you one thing though. Don't sleep on beach guys. <laughs> watch, watch round yeah, two comes around. Say. We're going to go big. So anyway. Thank you folks for tuning in, like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.